In this video, I'm going to demonstrate passive stretching to the large latimus dorsi muscle of the back. This is a great stretch to include within your wider massage therapy treatment or your sports or sports therapy treatment um, for clients that might be suffering for, with restricted range of motion at the shoulder joint. Because the large latimus dorsi muscle comes from the lower back all the way up and inserts into the humerus of the upper arm. An awful lot of people that can't fully extend their arm above the head have got restricted range of motion within this muscle. And this can lead to postural related changes and tension that we might be feeling in the upper or mid um, back area. Okay, so we would have, um, or we would include these stretches after you have warmed up the area with manual massage treatment. Okay, so you may have had your client in the face down or the prone position and have done um, massage to the wider back. Then we could either turn our client into this supine or face up position, or we can also complete the stretch in the um, sideline position. So we'll demonstrate both in this video today. Okay, so we need the client to be nice and relaxed. Quite often, once we start moving their limbs, the client might hold on to the limb itself and they don't realize that they're doing that. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna take Lydia's arm here, okay? And as I'm bringing the arm up, it's quite nice to do these sort of like little circular motions around the shoulder. That just encourages the client to let go of the tension here. Then I'm going to externally rotate the arm here slightly. I'm gonna ask the client just to bring their hands, they can hook onto you or they can just rest there. And then bringing my other hand into the arm area. And then I'm going to gently support and I'm leaning back. So I'm gripping the top part of her arm with this hand, okay, loosely. We don't wanna be squeezing the fingers into their arm. And with the other hand, I'm loosely supporting here. And as I'm bringing her arm back, I'm lifting the arm out of the joint slightly. So I'm elongating that joint. And I'm using my body weight just to open up that um, region. Okay, if your client, Lydia is nice and flexible, so she might not be feeling that stretch there. So just to increase that intensity slightly, I'm swapping my hands over. Okay, so I've now got my right arm holding the top side of her arm here, and I'm gonna use the heel of my hand there just to, so I'm pushing down on the muscle as I'm drawing up on the arm. Okay, and that will just help to increase that stretch. I'm also drawing this arm closer to her head. Okay, which is gonna increase that stretch. And we're gonna hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds, making sure that the client feels comfortable and that they're breathing the whole time because sometimes if those stretches are too strong, the client will start to hold their breath. Okay, and then once we've done that, I'm gonna bring that arm back, and then we would repeat this on the other arm. So making sure that we're stretching both arms. So again, just get the client to hook into the waist there. Okay, and then you're gonna bring that arm into that extended position. We can also do this from the sideline position, and as mentioned, and this is great. It will feel slightly different for your clients, um, and it's quite nice because sometimes that gravity assists with the stretch as well. So we're gonna turn Lydia onto her side now. And again, making sure that you're maintaining your client's dignity with the towel so that they feel nice and comfortable. Okay, then from here, again, I'm bringing this arm up. I'm going to hook the arm into my waist here. Okay, and again, from there, I'm bringing this arm back. I'm just gonna swap my hands so you can see. So I'm bringing this arm back just behind her ear line. And then I can use this hand here to draw down, okay? Again, if the client, so this hand is drawing the muscle slightly that way. So I'm using the heel of the hand and I'm just lengthening. And the other hand here is gripping loosely. I'm not squeezing with those fingers and just encouraging that stretch at the shoulder there. Again, my back's nice and straight and I'm using my body weight to bring, to extend that limb. If the client has got more movement, then what we can do, again, is bring that humerus slightly further back, and then we've got more space 
to lower down. Okay, so we're gradually bringing it a little bit behind the head. And again, holding for about 15 to 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that again from that sideline position. Client's going to be comfortable here. And we're going to, again, if they're holding their arm just gently, rotate at the shoulder so it's nice and loose. You can feel the weight of that arm. And then from here, hook that hand around your waist using one hand, first of all, to get that nice position, making sure there's not too much movement through that shoulder girdle because we want to stretch the shoulder joint. And then once in position, swap those hands over so you've got this hand free to draw the muscle lightly away as you pull the arm back towards you. And again, you're using your body weight to sink back. Okay, so that was our passive stretching of the latimus dorsi of the back. Mm -hmm.